Shamai GTA fans, the Penetrator is on discount for half a million at last. And it's the Jaguar XJ220, isn't it? You have to get this if you're a car person. But for everyone else watching this video, like and subscribe if you find it useful, which I hope you very much will. And we're going to see how much value for money you get out of this beast. <laughs> Let's get this beast customised and then we'll test the old race performance. So this is uh, the Penetrator based on the Jaguar XJ220. I've already upgraded the engine. Uh, the brakes and all that lovely business. Um, let's look at the colour first because I think that's going to be the main one. I remember that this car was in kind of a kind of silver colour, so I could do one of these metallic colours, perhaps something like that. That's a bit like it, maybe, maybe, maybe. But you could also go funky. Um, you can, like the green I had to begin with, that's what the Sultan of Brunei had. So there's Sultan of Brunei, that's what he had. I think with these kind of wheels as well, but more full. So we need to change the wheels to make it a proper build. But let's look at the metals. I quite like the shine to this. I mean, this brushed steel is probably more, more similar because it's lighter. Actually, no. Aluminium, no. Not steel. That's more like it. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to go for that. But I think the darker one just looks better. So, although it's not really what the actual car looked like, I'm going to go for it because I like it. Pearlescent, we could ask. No, no, we've not got a metallic paint. What am I doing? Primary colour and crew emblem. Um, no, we're not having a crew emblem on. Okay, let's start with the... Um, actually, no, let's not start with the customisation. Let's go to the wheels because this is the other one, the, the other main one we're kind of looking at. Can we look at high end? Is there any big ones there? Probably not. I don't think there is what we're looking for in this selection. Um, there might be street, tuna street, maybe street. No, that's a bit too chubby. I don't think what I'm looking for is in there either. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, tuna. Is that it? No, they are not chubby enough, you see. No, not definitely not it. Track. This is all uh, more like it, but it needs that chubbiness, but not quite what we're looking for. <laughs> Actually, are we going to find what we're looking for here? I mean, that's not it. <laughs> I'm not sure we are. Okay. <laughs> so, the nearest I have is Rally Throwback. That's not quite it, really. But that's the nearest we're going to get, I think. So we're going to go with that. And tyres. I mean, tyre design, it didn't really have this kind of business on it. But to go with the silver theme. Like that, maybe. Or red. Red fuckaroos. <laughs> Red's quite low profile, isn't it? Tire smoke. We've got bulletproof tires. We've already done that. Um, why not? Ready for danger. Let's put some tire smoke on. Wheel colour. So, really, the the rims should remain grey. That would be the kind of traditional one. But I have seen them with the black rims as well. I know black black's quite basic, but I think it'll work well. White could work as well. I mean, something coloured if you want to be imaginative. But we're going to go for something classic, I think, for a change. All right, olive green looks all right. And maybe midnight purple, but you really can't tell the difference between that and black. So we're going to pick black. Okay. Um, turbo is on. Okay, let's go back to the start. So this is the bumper selection. So on the front bumper, I think... Let's have a look at the picture. Now it was a big kind of open mouth kind of shape on the original, so this is too much. It didn't have this lip. Oh, it kind of did add a bit of one, have a bit of one, but I think that's that is the stock is nearest to what you want, perhaps, or maybe that open grill. Actually, I think it was a bit more open, although it did have lights here. It had indicator lights, so that although they're not indicator lights. That's nearest, so we're going to keep stock. 
Um, rear, so the rear of it. Have we got any pictures of rear? Rear, rear, rear. Um, not quite. Let's uh, hold on. Pause that for a while and just look to the rear if we have that. Any good pictures of the rear? No, I don't think there is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I've got one picture of the rear and we've got nothing like that. It, there's kind of a darkness to this version I'm looking at. Um, a bit like that of a carbon one. Stock is good, but that's good as well. So I think that might be a bit more true. What else is there? Not the splitters. There these funny splitters down below. I think it's going to be the carbon. That will do it. Okay, good. I'm glad we sorted that out, aren't you? Exhausts? Well, these are the options. Um, I'm happy with a single or a double. What have we got? Kind of go chubby. These doubles are a bit... a bit much, aren't they? They stick out too much. <laughs> it's not classy enough. That is definitely not it. Definitely not. That is utterly wrong. The stock exhaust is probably what we're going to go with. No, they're all too vulgar. You've got to stay stock if you want to be true to the original. <laughs> Right, the bonnet. So, the stock is kind of similar, um, but it's different because this groove here was further up the bonnet, it was up here. So I'm not sure whether it should be standard or, st or stock. Um, so it definitely shouldn't be the scooped hood, that is wrong. The carbon hood is wrong as well. I'm going to I'm gonna stick with stock, although this is this is too low down. It's better than, I think it does look better overall than the standard. And lights, I mean, it didn't really have xenon lights, but why not? Uh, did it have xenon lights, actually? It had lights that came, that kind of flipped open. And finally, we have the plate, I think. And we are pretty much done with this. Yellow and black, definitely. Um, oh, skirts. Oh yeah, we've not even begun, have we? We've got the skirts to go on. Right, skirts, I think. I don't remember that anything that stuck out. They were kind of blended. But there's no reason why it couldn't be an aftermarket job. We could add something, not that. But something more subtle. So I think the dark carbon skirts or the invert street skirts, maybe? Full carbon skirts or GT skirts? No, full carbon skirts. Those look best. Um, aftermarket, I know. All right, spoilers. This is probably the worst bit of the car. And um, what options we have now? I think this one. Actually, is it this one? No, not that one. I think it's this one. Maybe it's got a kink in it. What about that one? Yeah. The kink's the wrong way on this spoiler, but that's probably the nearest to one of the spoilers. Um, but this is what spoiler it meant to have on the uh, that was on the um, was it on the prototype? I don't know. Um, so that's we're gonna we're basically we're gonna stick stock, which means we we'll lose a bit of traction. Cause I'm, I think it was it would either be stock or this wing. I'm happy with either. Um, I'm kind of tending towards the stock because this really blends in nicely and it's almost like there's no wing there at all yeah, even though there clearly is um, right, so that is the job done so let's take it for a drive, shall we? how's about that then? oh, I almost forgot that we have to um, we can f fiddle with the uh, in air filters on the engine so you can see the engine in the boot there and you can just change them around. I quite like the stock look though. Even though the others are cheap. Valve covers as well. These, we can change them to be the same colour. So black colours, painted colours, chrome covers, that kind of thing. I'm not sure really, maybe black? No. No, it doesn't quite work, but something. Painted covers or chrome, I think. I think I'm going to go for chrome. Nice. Um, now this is why I've not tinted the windows because you can see the engine and I think the engine is more important than tinted windows but in case you want to know what it looks like let's have a look at those windows 
So you get that kind of look to it, which looks badass, but I think you miss out on the engine. So for me, it's a no of the tint. So let's do the test track. Yes, uh, the big corner going through the wet there. Uh, a bit of understeer, so as we expect. This kind of classic car, and then a bit of a hairpin. And then we're onto a little straight. And then we're onto the big double hairpin. This is a tricky one, so we did that all right. It's not bad. Yeah, I can see why this went well, so that's very nice. And then we're accelerating out into another straight, then a hairpin. Um, one thing that I was struggling a bit with was the braking because the braking is quite soft. And uh, now it's a big left-hander. So this was dealt with, with all right, you know, as long as you take off the accelerator a bit. Yeah, and then the S. And we're finally into the 4.50 and then we are on the home straight. Time is looking pretty good. Happy days. So there we, are, there we have it, 56 decimal 20 seconds above the Dubaki champion at 3 million at uh, just about. I mean, they're pretty much equivalent there. They both understeer, they, uh, although <clears throat> it's more the braking rather than the grip, I think, with the penetrator where it struggles. So overall, I think I prefer the way it drives to the champion overall. But it's obviously not competitive in the supers class, just like the champion. Um, but it is, it, it's not slow either, so it's a good car. So let's drag race these two suckers. The brand new most expensive car in the DLC, 3 million. Okay, that was a nice takeoff. Versus on the left, the XJ220 at 500,000. Wow, six times more expensive. But is it six times better in a drag race? The answer is no, it's not. The, the champion won, it did win 18 seconds, right? But 18 and one third seconds on the penetrator so it's a microsecond behind well a third of a second behind so that is bloody good value compared to the current cars well everybody this is it getting to the conclusion part of this um, little review but I think the take-home message is you get immense value for money with this car it's 528,000 on the discount which is pretty damn good. You have a, a good looking car and you can really make it look like the, the classic uh, Jaguar XJ220, which was a 90s car. It was the world's fastest car at production car at the time. And unfortunately it happened, it coincided with a recession back then. Um, and that meant that it went out of production. I don't think it went over to the States either, so that was a real shame as well. You guys missed out on this um, because it was a very, very good car. It, it, it competed in Le Mans and other races as well. The Sultan of Brunei bought one, a green kind of, um, he kind of, um, I think Pina Farina, Farina might have been involved with an upgrade um, for him. But it's an excellent car historically, and just driving it around, it's really nice. I enjoy it. It's, yeah, it's got the understeer, but it doesn't. It's got a good enough grip. You know, it's it's a nice car to drive as well, and I quite like just driving around the map. It's original. There aren't any cars in the game that look like this. It's a nice-looking car, and it's got performance as well. It's not, you know, it's not competitive in the super class because it's a super car, but. It's not bad, you know, you're going to get decent enough lap times and you could compete with people who uh, aren't very good at driving, for example, and make an embarrassment of them. Um, and it, it handles nicely, he says, smashing into a wall, but it really does. You know, it takes a little bit of getting used to because it's a bit of a classic. Why can't I drive under that plane? I can clearly fit under that. No way. Um, he's just smashed the front of my car. But it's a phenomenal piece of kit for the money. Um, if you want to buy one of the new cars because of the um, weaponizable kind of uh, features that they have, obviously this isn't the car for you. Um, if you're not into cars, it's not the car for you. Um, but for me, it's definitely worth buying. I, I didn't even know there was an XJ220 in the game. How stupid is that? But there's so many cars that you lose track. If I'd have known this was in the game sooner, I would have bought it a lot sooner. Um, and it's brilliant. I mean, you just look at the back window, seeing the engine through that window. It's just phenomenal. 
and it looks so much like the original. You you've got to buy it. You've got you've just got to buy it. Um, you know, by by modern G GTA standards of prices, this is super cheap, a bargain for performance as well as as you know classic kind of looks as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, get out there, purchase this car. I hope you've enjoyed this review and it's helped you make your decision. Um, but this car's faster than a lot of you know, the cars that have just been released in the latest DLC. So that's got to be a reason to buy it. And to me, I think the problem is we're too trigger happy with purchasing new cars because they're new. This is a car that's been in the game for a very long time and it's still good today, still good to buy. Yeah, you, one limitation is you don't have the customization options if you like to customize your cars. But for me, why why would you? You want to make it look like the XJ220. It's all about the classic look to it. It looks great already. You, I mean, you can color it up. You can make your own funky colors, whatever you want with this. It's open. You can tint the windows, uh, and which really makes a completely different look to it as well. Um, and you can make it look excellent. Anyway, I've waffled enough on about this car. It's brilliant. Buy it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day in GTA. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that bell for future videos. And yeah, thanks. Drop me, drop me a comment uh, to tell me what your thoughts, thoughts are on this car, performance or otherwise. Thanks for watching.